Create the assembly, top, first. Then create the parts, bottom. It is called top-down assembly. This box assembly is created in top-down assembly approach. Component, create new. Create a new component, part, in the assembly. Component, assembly constraints. Positions the component by applying constraints. General, wave geometry linker. Copies other part into the work part as feature. Undo. Undoes the last action. Feature, hole. To add holes to solid body. Feature, pattern feature. To create rectangular array of holes. Component, add. Adds components, part, to the assembly. Component, pattern component. Create rectangular array of pins in assembly. Select assembly, create new. Create part box. Right click part box and select make work part. Create a sketch. Extrude as solid. Select Feature, Shell, Remove the Inner Material. Select Assembly Navigator and make Box Assembly as Work Part. Apply Fix Constraint to Part Box. Select assembly, create new. Create part cover. Make it as work part. Select assembly, general, wave geometry linker. Select four outer edges as for composite curves. Extrude as solid and create cover. Make box assembly as work part. Modify the box. Cover will also be modified. Select undo to come back to original. Make boxes work part. Create a hole on its face. Use pattern feature to array the holes. Select File, New to create a new part pin.
Add the part pin to the box assembly. Add constraints also. Select Assembly, Component, Pattern Component. Use References Layout and create Array of Pins. Make Cover as Work Part. Select Wave Geometry Linker. Select Body as Type. Select 4 Pins. Select Feature, Subtract. Create holes on cover by subtracting. Make Box Assembly as Work Part. Make cover as display part. Select part navigator. The linked body and composite curves indicate the associativity. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe.